Hello. Five and one tenth spell in January, four and six tenth spell, and in February, three and eighty seven hundred spell. We got to put these in order from um, uh, least the greatest. Oh, that's the bottom. Yes, that's number two. Write the um, rainfall in a fraction, is what I was supposed to do. Let's plug these bad boys in into our place study chart. And then you're back. Is it working? Yeah. Okay. It's because of my Wi Fi, the my Caldera's Wi Fi is not working, so I have to use the Franklin one. Oh, okay. Okay. So, how do we write up here? How do we write four and 37 hundredths as a fraction? Who's going to tell me that? Besides somebody that's already answered, I need somebody. Emma, you haven't answered yet. You can knock yours out. Uh -oh. I finished the puzzle. Okay. How do we write it as a fraction? Uh, four. Mm -hmm. And then 3,700. And then 3,700. Good job. Who wants to do five and one tenth as a fraction? Good job, Emma. Knocked hers out. Not that I needed it. Elizabeth? Hmm. Five. Uh huh. And one over ten. One over ten. Good job. Some of y'all want to keep in here. Trade y'all. I'm going to trade some of y'all for Miss Gonzalez's class. Like I said, I was going to trade Natalie for my Natalie back when she was in Miss Walling's class. And then I got blood for two Natalie's. Hmm. Um, Natalie for Natalie. Natalie for Natalie. But I, I actually kept my Natalie. Yeah. Who wants to do four and six? Tense. It's going to be very similar to this. Madison, go ahead. Knock yours out too. Um, it would be so you put um, the four on the side, and then it would be six, six on top, and the ten on the bottom. Good. Even though you're kind of glitchy, I got it. Good job. Do I actually have to answer or just when just when there's help and need help? I mean you can answer because I can't I, I wanna answer so I can get mine over. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Wait, wait, okay, wait, so wait, 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 wait. Aunt Anello, not yet. Let Sophia answer. Go ahead, Sophia. Three holes and eighty sevenths hundreds. Hundreds. Like this? Yes. Good job. Okay. Um, Anello, you can help me on the more challenging bottom part, I guess, which isn't really challenging for you. But anyway, it's not really challenging. Let's can put, I do all of them. Let's or put just two. You can do all of them, I guess. Let's put these numbers in order from least to greatest. Okay, so three point eighty seven, four point thirty seven, four point six, and Hard, but that was actually pretty that was like really easy what y'all get wrong here is that y'all don't put that extra zero back here sometimes and y'all may think this one's bigger than that one or right. put the extra zero I, and some of y'all may put have put 4.6 here that is correct you put 4.6 and 5.1 those are okay if you put those there well uh 4.6 will be greater because uh Kind of like that because, um, what was I going to say? Technically, if, 60 is greater than 37. Yeah, because 60 is greater than 37. Yes, perfect. Ow, I just hit my leg. Even on. If, it, if you did it at an extra uh, zero, then it'll still be the same. Like but some this, people like got confused degrees. on that in the, on their test when we took it way back when. Let's see. Um, number three, Emma, let's go ahead and read that. You can read it. My voice is tired. Alexis decorated 3.6 of her scrapbook pages with stickers. Which of the following fractions is equivalent to this number? I forgot how to say 3.6. Ooh, three and six tenths. Ooh, three and six tenths. I'm going to plug it into my place by your chart here. Three and six tenths. How many holes do I have? How many holes do I have? I miss her, I miss. Yes. We forgot about our daily six holes. <sighs> we did because we were doing our test today. Yeah. 
our spelling and reading. Yeah, we forgot about it. Tomorrow, we'll, we'll double up tomorrow. And then even though some of y'all did your writing already, I'm gonna have to go back and go over it again probably with everybody to make sure they did, everybody else did it. So I'll figure out, I'll find something for y'all that are done with your writing to do, but we'll, we'll definitely do, we'll do, just remind- I'm already done with the page. Just remind me, what this page, Natalie? Yeah. Just remind me tomorrow that we have to do four daily fixes, one of y'all. Me too. Okay. Um. Um. I think Elizabeth had her hand up, right? Elizabeth, she left. Um. Let's see. There's two pages that we have to do. I did the other one already because it's just one question. Oh, is it? I don't know. Mariah, how many holes do we have here in three point six? I have it in my chart. How many holes do we have here? Sometimes I think y'all exit just to not answer. I feel like people just do that just because, like, maybe to just to troll us. I don't know. Mariah just left. I don't know if you are getting kicked out or what. Well, Natalie V, how many holes do I have here? You used to talk a lot when it was just us in my other class. What happened? Water. Natalie V. Yeah. Ever since this whole car. How many holes do I have here on 3.6? Did she leave too? She's still there. We have three holes. Okay, three holes. So we got a big, oh, a big three. Do you know how to write the fraction behind there? What? You know how to write six tenths as our fraction? Um, hold on. Six tenths. How would that be written as a fraction? Uh, six as the numerator mm -hmm. and 10 as the denominator. Bingo, good job. I just wanted to make sure you're paying attention because that you used to talk a lot more when it before we got the other Natalie and don't feel don't feel like you can't talk. Um, Maybe she feels overwhelmed and like I mean, it is a little overwhelming. I'm not going to answer. There's a lot of people, though. There's 27. That probably doesn't even need, Does that include the breakout room? Probably not. Um. Okay. Let's do... Was there one more? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There was one more. Oh, same thing. So, we got Shelby ran 4.6 miles during track practice. You go, Shelby. Which of the following fractions is equivalent to the distance Shelby ran during track practice? So she ran 4.6. 4.6. Who's going to tell me how to write 4.6 as a? 4.6 is a fraction. fraction. Hold on, Daniel. Hold on. Let me see. 4.6, I'll answer that. Oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead. Somebody unmuted themselves to answer. Oh, no, not you. Try I'll just on me. I'll, I'll just say the answer in chat. Okay, hold on. I want somebody else though. Privately to Miss Hernandez. Jasmine, go ahead. Knock yours Five out. Depends on whole number and six over ten. Bingo! Good job. You got yours out of the way. You got yours out of the way. You are earning that recess today. Partially. Some of y'all sent me in chat. Did y'all get it right? Jay was our answer. Thumbs up if you got it right. Y'all didn't have an answer. I see Heidi's just her thumb. But I do see she has, she's working. Madison, good, good, good. Um, Daniel, what is, what is that for? I don't know what that is. Let's move on. And then chat, but, but. But when I tried to put another line, it just didn't do it. It just sent it when I did that. After this kind of going very fast, good. thank goodness. This one you're going to have to answer by yourself. The decimal model is shaded to show a number less than one. Which decimal is less than the fraction represent? 
Oh, is less than the fraction represented? Oh, hold on, never mind. I lied. I lied. How much is shown here? Who can tell me? Just you can unmute yourself. Anybody? Four. Four. <laughs> Not four. What? How do we say it, Elizabeth? Four. four what is ten? It? Four tenths. So zero point four, right? So which one of these is less than zero point four? I I told my class it was y'all too. I think. Make sure you put your zero back here. So I remember Dominic said it. Which one is less than that? Which one is smaller than that? If you were to put all of these in a row, all of these answer choices, which one is less than 0 0.4? And you got 4.03. Which one is less than 0 0.4? Good job, Angelina. Daniel, which answer choice can I get rid of? You can get rid of C, D, A. C, D, A. But isn't, for, isn't this the same as what we got up here? Are these the same? It says less. Less. Thank you. Good job. He saw it. It says less than. Yes. So our answer should be B. Thumbs up if you got that one. Yep, <laughs> right. Some of y'all will be. Let's see. Let me put some of y'all in a room with me. Okay. Oh, we have our homework to go over, right? Didn't I give you a homework on this page? Page 110. Page 110. Y'all had homework. Miss Gonzalez in class probably didn't do it because they didn't think they were going to be here. But 1110. Page 110. Anello, um, Emma, Angelina, can y'all send me what y'all got for A, B, for A, B, and C? I may put end up putting y'all in a room by yourself to just keep going. Page one ten. Is everybody there? Oh, I finished the whole yeah. one ten page. So. Send me A, B, and C at least, Emma, so I can, can see. Can you do the area model? Can you do the area model on here? Yeah. Um, we'll do standard area, standard area. We'll go back and forth because I want y'all to learn standard. It's the whole point of it. On Friday, though, Natalie, when you're testing, if I you don't, don't think so, understand. If you don't I get don't it by I Friday, it, so. I, I don't know. We'll see. Because we've only done it for one day. By Friday, if you're still struggling with it, Natalie, yes, you can use the area model for your test. I'm not gonna tell you now. From A to B. Today we're gonna practice. It's in order from A to C. Oh, I need to check. The rest of you are sitting. Some of you are gonna go ahead. I know we can probably get it right. Everybody's on 110? Okay. Daniel, you need to check C. I think you added wrong. Angelina, check number C. Check not number C, oh, yeah. it's letter C. Letter C, my bad. Where's Anello? He hasn't sent me his. Check C. Some of y'all I will be putting in another breakout room so that y'all can keep working. Me? Let me see. Me? Check C? 
Who is that? Sorry, somebody said me. Emma. You're good, Emma. I'm going to put you in a room. Keep working. Let me see. Um, and you're, when you get, uh, or when you get to the room, can you send me what you got for D, E, and F? I think it will let you send it to me. Hopefully. Okay. And then I'll come check on you and everybody else in here in a second. Anella, where are your answers? For A, B, and C. Still doing them. Oh, you're still doing them. Okay. Okay. The rest A, B, and C. I already got A. I just need B and C. Okay. When you get those, please send them to me. The rest of y'all, let's go over these. Woo! We need our Johnny Appleseed had a long day at work. What does he need to dump out? Or he needs to dump the rocks out of his what? Boots. Boot. Beans and cheese, that dang boots. So what are we going to multiply there, Natalie? Come on. Did you tell me? Oh, this is hard. I know you can do it. 11 times 8. 11 times 8. Work it out for me. Come on. I know, you want, I know you want to do the area model. But this is less work. This is less work. I like the area model. But I know. But this is less work. Trust me. Let's see. Who's going to do the next part for me? He dumped out his boot already. What's the next part? Let's see, who remembers? Come on, we're all doing this. We got plenty of it. Elizabeth, go ahead. He needs his what before he can get his pizza? Wait, he miss. needs his plate. Plate. Wait, Wait Miss Hernandez. Oh, I need my other pin. Yes. Can I send you the, the answers I got for A and G? Go ahead, yeah. He needs his plate. Now he can have his pizza. He's got to multiply. Oops. RJ, you need to get a piece of paper out then, and you need to be writing these problems out and working them out with us. You still have to do our math. We're still going to have tests on Friday over this, whether you have the math or not. Uh, I got my three answers. I got my three answers for A, B, and C. So what are we going to multiply in our pizza? Mariah, let's go. Come on. In our pizza, our triangle, what's going to be multiplied? Let's go, Mariah, Natalie. Oh, I put uh, the one, two, and three in a dot, in a dot because uh, I was showing like I was like using it as like A, B, and C. Okay. Um. Let's see. Man, I like. You're all going to be sitting in recess with me. Mariah! Why? Why are y'all not answering? It's like y'all can't hear me or something. Um, I private chatting the answers. Go ahead, Elizabeth. Um, for the pizza, you're going to put... Um, one, one, and one. So one times one gives you one, and then one times one gives you one, and then you add all of these. I think you get one, one, one. Good. This. Yes. I have a chatty and answers. Okay, hold on, because I'm trying to answer these. Mr. Nandi. Yes. I sent you the answers. Did you get them? Um, hold on. Let me check. I read it. See, I figured out what I made my mistake was. You need a chat. Oh, yep. Yeah. There you go. That looks much better. Okay. I'm going to put you in a room. Um, Manella, did you finish um, one, two, or A, B, C? Did I not send them? Um, I, oh, yeah. You, you said C. Let me see. Hold on. I've got like a million things. Okay. Anello and um, 
Anello and Elizabeth, I'm putting you in a room. Which one do we do? You keep going. We'll go over these. Okay. Hold on. So we do the next ones, the next three? Yeah, just keep going. Stop at page Anello, like one, what? Probably 112. Okay, hick me out of Zoom for a sec. 112. Somebody get left. Miss Wendy? Yes. The breakout room I was put in, I was alone. And number 111, it doesn't have any numbers. Oh, it doesn't have any numbers. Oh, I have to give you numbers. That's right. That's right. That's what you're asking for. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Because um, my page is 111. It has no numbers. So I honestly don't know what we're going to sketch. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I forgot I had to give you our numbers. Mariah, can you hear me? And I saw the breakout room I was in. Miss Hernandez, they did great. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yes, we'll see you. Bye bye. Bye. We're on 110. Hold on, I'm trying to give them work to do. Workout B. Bye. You can do B in area model or standard way. I need to see your answer. 10, 110. One one zero. If you're done with A with B and C, keep going. Just keep going. Let me make problems for them. What number is on E? Is that a two or is it a three? Cause it's cut. On E. Um, it's a two. Mariah, I don't hear you. Can you send me a chat? All right, why aren't you speaking? Can you, is your mic not working or what's going on? Huh? Did you call my name? No, I was calling Mariah. Why are you not speaking, Mariah? We're on page 110. I know, I'm on the page. Okay. Oh, oh. We're multiplying. Well, I had called on you earlier to answer, but we'll, we'll work out B. Hold on. I didn't know what to do. Do you know what to do? Or you don't know what to do? I said you can do area model or standard for B if you're, you've already done it. Some of y'all I'm putting in a breakout room because y'all are, are already done. Or with whatever I got. Let's see. Two, two, three, four, five, Yes. Um, Should we send the next three to you? Since I'm ready. Go ahead, Anella. Okay. I'm about to put an hour. Can you show me the best of 110 answers since I'm not in the breakout room yet? Okay, open. Hold on. Open all rooms. I think I put y'all in. Okay. Miss Hernandez, and that was the A, B, and C. Hold on, guys. Yes. How do I go into the breakout room? Hold on, I'm putting people in breakout. Hold on. Um, Manello. Before I put you in there, I'm making sure you've answered these. Let's... I have a question. Mm -hmm. Um, after we're done, like. Okay, I just press later. And, room and we're done with D, E, and F. What do we do? Okay, we're going to go over them in a second. Let me go. Y'all, um, because you're going to need ants. You're going to need problems for the backside. So okay. hold on. Give me a second. Let me go explain to them. and I'll be right back. If you're done with B, keep going on C, D, E, and F. And we're going to go over these. Then I'll, put, I'll slowly put you on breakout rooms as y'all finish. So I can see. What y'all know, what y'all don't know. Join. Yeah.
Miss a t-shirt. She went to go oh, help no. all the kids. Oh. Huh? Yeah, I mean. And then Dad, when I was asleep, Dad was touching me like right here, and he said I was wearing a little bit. We're not putting it on my butt. I only have one foot, but no, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, but, but, no, but, but. I'm going that way. Maybe dad, but not me. Dad? Dad, but not me. No, dad, not me. You see your dad's haircut? We're back. Camera should be on. Page 110. Whoa, why why is it showing like none of y'all have cameras on? That is weird. It's probably because your Wi Fi. Oh, because that's what um the computer on the Wi Fi on this computer it's on glitching because the Wi Fi from the school. It's like the Wi Fi from the school is acting up too. What is going on? Hold on. I know, Elizabeth, you told me you were done. Hold on, hold on. Why? Hold on, let me, let me fix my Zoom here real fast. Got some nice music going on. Yes, I'm done. Okay. Oh, wrong one. We're on number on B. Who's going to walk me through B? Let's go. Y'all that said you're done. I want to see who's going to walk me through on B. So first, Johnny takes his boot off. Oh, and, then, okay. and then he goes to get pizza. And then he realizes, oh, yeah, we have to do Gotta multiply these. Multiply these one for me. Zero, one times wait, zero, zero. Wait, 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 wait. I know what's wrong. Y'all can't see my screen, right? I don't think y'all can see my screen. Ah, that's why. 
I wonder. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now y'all can see my screen, sorry. Okay, so what are we gonna do first with the boot, Daniel? What are we multiplying? We are going to do nine times zero, that's zero, anything times zero is zero, and then one times zero, anything times zero is zero. What about, what do we need next? Yeah, then Johnny goes to get pizza, but then he realizes that he doesn't have his plate. Mm hmm and, and then, so, one times two, two. Nope, 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 nope. You oh, don't go that way first. One times nine. Not no, one. Two times nine. Two times nine. So we multiply this way. So we are getting lost. We multiply that way first. What's two times nine? Two times nine is 18. 18. And then we add our one. We can just put it in this box. Plus one. So now what's two times one? Two um, times nine. one is two. Two and then three. Three. And we get 380. I think some of y'all had that right. Thumbs up if you all had that right. I got it. Right so good. Elizabeth, Madison, Andrew, Heidi. Good, good, good. I don't know what some of y'all. Camera's on. Y'all on that back page. Natalie B. Or, yeah, Natalie B. I got A and B right so far. A and B, okay. Natalie, you got this one? Yeah, it's just sometimes I can't unmute my mic. It's because it's either the iPad is has a white screen and then shows an Apple mark. Mm -hmm. That's why. Okay, well, just let me know with a thumbs up if I ask you if that's what you got. Okay. Who's answering the next one? Me. Go ahead, Natalie. What are you using? Um, what do I use? Did you use the area model or did you do it the other way? I did this the other way. See with the boot? Okay. Yeah. Had a long day at work. Walk me through it. He what dumped out his pebbles out of his boot. So what are we multiplying first? I'm gonna take a nap right here. Don't answer. Fifteen times five. Uh huh. Take a nap. Fifteen times five. Is what is it? Five times five is 25. Remember, we put our five down here and we carry our two. So five times one is what? Let's take a minute. Five. I heard somebody answer five plus two. Yeah, and so it's 75. 75. Don't forget to add that two. And now I can get rid of it because I've already added it. What does he need next before he gets that scrumptious slice of pizza? He needs a plate. We need to pluck the plate. Oh, we got zero. And now we can get that pizza slice. Woo, man. What do we do next? And then we do uh, one times 15. I mean, one times five. Five times two. Yep, five times two, Vila. We go that way first. He He's weird. He likes to eat this corner first. Or this corner, and then this corner, and then this corner. And then five times two is ten. So zero comes down here, and we have to carry our one up here. Notice how five times two is ten. I put my zero down here, but I carried my one. It's a big mistake. Now we multiply two times one. And then it's three. Why is it three and not two? Well, because, because there's one on the top. Like okay, number. just wanted to be sure. An extra one. Yeah. An extra one. Okay. Yeah, I got all of them right. So. Are you doing it this way, Vida? Uh, yeah. Well, okay. actually, no, it's the area model. I got the same I thing, too. Try this. I know area models what you're comfortable with. But let me see who's got something on here. Sorry, Sophie. I saw that you had answered, I think, all of these already, or most of these. So B, I, B, C, D, let's see. Hold on, let me see what you got for D. D. My cousin keeps going in my room. Okay, Sophia, I'm going to put you in that breakout room with the other ones, okay? So you can keep going. They're probably going to have to give you. I'm done. Who says they're done?
Andrew, send me your answers for D, E, and F. Um, let me see. Adley, did you finish that time already? No, I also finished. Okay, send me your answers in your chat. I'm gonna start putting on different breakout rooms. Okay. For, yes. Do I um for D? My yes. to send me if you finish D, E, and F. Send me your answer so I can put you in a breakout room and you can keep going. So I don't want y'all to just sit here. Okay. That's, okay. Gonna, that's gonna weed out the ones that are already done and who's gotten it right and who has it. I'm gonna. Put y'all in breakout room. Let me see. Y'all are not all going to be in a breakout room. Let's see. That was Sophia. Because I have to give y'all problems. Elizabeth is good. Okay. Miss Hernandez. On E, I can't really tell if it's a three or a two. Oh, yeah. Um, number E. It's a two. Elliot, look at your adding on D. I think you added a little wrong with the middle number, the one. Okay. And I can put y'all put you in a room. What is the what is the number? It's two. Um, two. Oh, okay. times twenty-five, I think. Somebody just sent me there. So sign two, break out room three. Okay. Let's go. Join. I'll be right back. Okay. I don't They had the wiper was back. Okay, what did we get? Let me see. Natalie, did you finish that side? Yeah, I got D and E. 
Okay, I see Elliot got it right now. Okay, Elliot and Natalie. Um, let me see. Let me see. Hold on. Let me work out one, and then I'll put you. I'll move you out to a room. Let me work out one. Mm. Let me work out one problem. Oh, that's the wrong one. Let's work out D. Who's gonna solve it for me, D? Come on, I took out all the people that have been answering, so now somebody else is gonna answer. Who's gonna solve D for me? Who's gonna solve D? I took out the people that are answering. Madison, go ahead, Madison. You're muted, Madison. So you would do, uh, you would put that weird boot shape on there? Another weird boot shape? Okay. Um, I don't really get the, like, I don't really get the so what, do you, what do you multiply? You don't have to tell me the story. You can just tell me what you multiply. You would multiply the two and the six. And the six, so right here, and what do you get? You would get 12. Well, and then you carry your one, right? And then you would multiply the six and the 12 again. Or the six and the two? Yeah, and get two. And then you would get 12 again. But what about this one? Oh, it would be 13. Wait, would it be 13? Yeah, it'd be 13, yep. You, you caught yourself, we'll fix yours if you got it wrong. We have to add the one, so six times two is 12, but then we add one and you get 13. So make sure y'all add that one. When and you then you would. Wait, so that one, that one, and then that one. Would you do two times two next? Yep, but we need what first down here? What do you need to put? A zero. A zero, okay. And then you put the two times two, and the two times two would be, that'd be four. And then four again, right? And then four again. And then you would wait. wait so you put the two. Three times three plus four would be four. That'd be seven. And then that'd be five. Good, 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 good. I know some of y'all are done. I think we're just gonna wait. It y'all are gonna wait with me in here. And then we'll start recess once we get this done. Okay, if we are working, I know y'all couldn't tell what this was. This is a two. Okay, so um, two. So Johnny came back from a long day of work. He took off his boot, which there's a hole that prevents me from yeah, two. even ground boot. And then there's two times five, that would be 10. So 10, okay. And we carry our one plus one. Yeah, yeah, carry the one. And then there's one times five, it's five. So um, then you take your plus one and add it to the Five. Mm hmm Yeah. What do you get? You get 60. 60. Okay. What do you need next, Daniel? And then he goes to get pizza, but then he realizes that he doesn't have a plate, so he gets the plate. Put this plate down. Got it. And, and now, now and now we can have the pizza. That, that circle there. Messing up my stuff. What do we multiply first? This is where some of y'all get confused. That would be um two times two. Times two, what is that? There we go. Now you're getting four. And then um yeah. Sixty plus forty. What's two times one? You forgot two times one. Two times one. Two times one is two. So 60 plus 240 wait, wait, wait. Oh. 300. So zero, add our one, we get 
Oh, zero, and then you get 300. Yeah, good. All right, our next one, F. I need somebody else to answer F. Y'all want your recess, and I want to give it to you. So let's Wait, see. This is not necessarily answer D, E, and F. Can I insinuate? E, you can help me answer F. Help me answer F. I should be sufficient enough. What do we multiply first? Um, three times four? Yep, three times four. What do you get? Three times four equals 12. So 12, 12. and carry our one, right? Natalie B, are you still here, Natalie B? <sighs> Charles? Or Charlie, Jordan, Azu, y'all are gonna want recess, and I'm not gonna give it to y'all. Um, keep going, Vida. And then we do two times four. Yeah. What do you get, Vida? For two times four. Mhm. Mm nine. Yep, you get nine. Well, two times four is eight plus one is nine. Keep going. I know there's a zero. There's a, there's a hole there. They already put the plate. What's our next part? And then we do the pizza. And we do three times one. That is three. Uh-huh. And then we do two times one. Mm-hmm. And then that is two. We do plus the one, right? Because I feel like you didn't, we have to plus one. Oh, right the one here. right here? We did that one already. Oh, so it's two. It would be what right here? Oh, three? What's nine plus three? We're just adding those two. Nine plus three. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Twelve? Uh, Twelve, and we carry our one, right? Plus one? And then three? Three. How many of y'all got all three of those right? Thumbs up. I did. You're doing it this way. Tell me I know did the area model for these, which is completely fine. All right, let me close these breakout rooms. Breakout rooms, close all rooms. Hold on, I'm closing the breakout room. Hey, Explain what we're doing next. Oh. Let me let them get back. We got to come back and do more. Oh man, we haven't even done. We're like so long. Did you call us back because it was recess time? Yeah, I called y'all back. Is everybody back? I think I'm waiting for a couple more. I already finished both of the pages. Yeah, yeah we got some wrong, and Anella got one wrong. Oh, oh, oh. Just one in the whole thing, though. Just one. But there's only like, like, problems. Wrong. Huh? You if you miss one on a six problem test, you want to know what you would make? What? You'd make an 83. An 83? Yeah, if you miss one. Because <laughs> there weren't a lot. The less problems there, there are on a test, the more. Yeah, I only, I only got one question wrong for out of all the 12 that I did. Oh, out of all the 12? Oh, okay. Out of all the 12, yeah, six. Just eight. one. Not 12, one. not one out of just the six. Mm -hmm. I missed three questions, which means I failed a six question test. You would have failed, yes. That wouldn't have been good. Okay, is everybody back? Okay. What, 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 would, you, what would you make if you missed one on a three question test? Make a 66. A 66? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you just have to divide it. You just have to divide the 100 by okay. three. So, as promised, I'm giving you your recess. I'm keeping the Zoom on, but I'm giving you your recess until... Yeah, sign problems. Um, okay. Well, you don't have to write down problems. They're uh, already there. Did you... Um, what was I going to say? I'm trying to freeze. How far did y'all get on the back side? Um, I already did full of it. I don't know how much Emma and Angelina got, though. So, just two days on until the side, Friday. On the back side, I finished it. Okay. So, Angel, uh, Angelina, Emma, and Anello, y'all finished this whole side, right? In the back side? 
Yep. Okay, I need y'all three to stay on a little after this. I let everybody go for Zoom so I can give y'all a couple of problems. Okay, because I don't want y'all getting too far ahead because. I don't need extra problems. Well, I do, but I'm you okay with Adam. I'll give you like two though, just because y'all need homework. So I want to check. Oh yeah, just because we don't, we, we already did it. Yeah. Our homework. Yeah, so I'm gonna give y'all two later on. Everybody has this? We're moving on. Y'all have four, five, and six as homework. I'm checking. If you want your recess tomorrow at all, that means everybody's doing their homework. And you can use the area model to solve these if you need to. If I don't have your homework in the morning, first thing in the morning by 8.30, you're not getting homework. Do y'all have it? Do y'all understand that? Yes? I'm going to ask Ms. Gonzalez's class, y'all are back with me again tomorrow, so y'all need your homework. If y'all don't show it to me that y'all attempted four, five, and six, you're not getting recess tomorrow. You're going to stick with me, and we're going to do plenty of math. Do y'all understand? Wait, I have a question. Yes. Do we need I never got, I never, we, I don't, I, we never, I, I never actually got, I'm like, really? My, my math, my math, um, like my math. So, you, like, I never, I never, I never got the, what is it called? Like, the paper that you'd, I guess, how did you explain? The binder? Like yeah, the binder. binder. Like, I never got the paper for my math, uh, math binder. Did you write these three problems down? Yeah, I'll probably need to write that. I mean, I, ha I haven't really rated them down yet. Okay, then you need to write them down so that you can have them tomorrow. Otherwise, you're not going to get recess if you don't show me some homework in the morning. Whether it's right or it's wrong, I want to see that you try it. I go through everybody else. I ask you in the morning, where's your homework? And you have nothing to show me. You're working out four, five, and six with me during your recess. No, you're not going to be happy, and I'm definitely not going to be happy if I have to sit with you during recess. Write them down. Y'all can use the area model if you need to. Do my iPad's about to die, so I'm not log off and join on my computer. Okay. Can you move the paper up a little bit? Okay. Okay, got it. Okay. Um, social studies. You need your social studies book. We're just gonna read the story. That's all we're gonna have time. Wait, Randy left, so he's missing social studies. This thing. Then when we take that quiz later on, social studies. These are on page. What's happening with Dominic? He hasn't like really speak at all. I don't know. He's been awfully quiet this week. I know he said he wasn't feeling well or something, or he wasn't. So, which book is this in that? For the social studies? Social studies, your red book. Oh, okay. I thought chapter five. Chapter four. Hold on. Do you read it? Yeah, I'm going to look at this because I don't know what it looks like. The red book. I think it's on page, I think we're on page 150, 160. Social studies, 160. 160. I'm just going to read the story, that's it. Oh, I have to give y'all problems. Oops. Give y'all problems. 160. We're just going to read it because that's all we're going to have time for. Like always. It's all we ever. No. How dare you not work? How dare you not work? No. Page 160. It's just a Mexican, Texas, a new era. Yeah. Text 
or reading? Social studies. You read social studies book. What page? 160. 160. 160. Just kidding. Ajax audio. Um, can't find my social studies. Oh, that's not going to be good. It should all be in a pile next to your stuff. How do y'all lose those books when y'all are at home? 160, it should look like this. It's got boots up top. It's got like spurs, a rope, and a hat. I see Anello has it. I found it. Okay. Thank you. Let's start. Lesson three. Mexican okay. Texas, a new era. I will know how big changes in the government affected Texans. Vocabulary. Revolution. Empresario. Viceroy. Frontier. These items are used by cowboys in Texas. Circle two items, then explain how they are used. In the early hours of September 16, 1810, Father Miguel Hidalgo rang the church bells in Dolores, Mexico. The people gathered. Death to bad government, he cried. Mexico's independence from Spain. Hidalgo's cry for freedom began a revolution against the Spanish colonial government in Mexico. A revolution is the overthrow of one government and its replacement with another. September 16th, or 16 de septiembre in Spanish, is celebrated as the birth of Mexican independence in Mexico and the United States. So they have a different independence than we do. So we celebrate our actual independence is what day? Who can tell me that? When do we celebrate Independence Day? I think July the 4th. Yeah, July, July, yeah, July the 4th. Yes, July the 4th. Great participation. Check and see if you're on you. On that day in 1810, Hidalgo led an army of rebels. Many of them were poor peasants and farmers. The rebels were tired of being mistreated by the Spanish colonial viceroy. A viceroy rules a country as the representative of his king and is empowered to act in the king's name. The Viceroy collected taxes from the Mexicans to pay for the wars it fought with other European powers. Spain feared foreign expansion. The Viceroy also took most of the food that the rebels farmed. This became a particular hardship because the region had been experiencing poor harvests. Hidalgo's rebels, largely untrained and poorly armed, fought trained Spanish soldiers who had the best weapons of the time. After a terrible loss of life in battle, Hidalgo retreated north into Spanish Texas. There he gained supporters and more battles were fought. But the rebels were soon defeated. Hidalgo was captured, sent to trial, and killed. However, the war continued. In January 1811, a man named Juan Bautista de la Casa led a revolt of Mexicans living in San Antonio against the Spanish governor of Texas. Casas seized power and held it, but not for long. People who were loyal to Spain captured Casas. He too was tried and killed. Mexican rebels continued to fight Spanish loyalists in Texas. Finally, in 1821, the war ended and Mexico won its independence. A Spanish king no longer ruled Mexico. One, identify characteristics of the Spanish colonial government and its influence on inhabitants of Texas. Two, use the text 
to identify and circle on the map the location of Juan Bautista de la Casa's revolt. Then identify Texas's role in the Mexican War of Independence. Tejanos and Tejanas. Mexico's war for independence had a strong impact on the development of Texas. During the war, many lives were lost and homes destroyed. Cattle and crops dwindled. After the war, the Mexicans in Texas began to rebuild their communities. The men called Tejanos and women called Tejanas got to work. Many Tejanos were ranchers. They lived in South Texas, where the natural grasses grew abundantly in the river valleys and plains. Others lived on ranches and in the towns of San Antonio, Nacogdoches, and Goliad. Tejanos near the Nacogdoches settlement also made a living trading with the French in Louisiana. The Tejanos lived on Mexico's frontier. A frontier is where settled land ended and American Indian land began. They also lived very far from Mexico's capital, Mexico City. When independence was declared, the news had to travel many miles of rough trails to reach San Antonio. At that time, news traveled at the speed of a horse and rider. Tejanos and Tejanas had a strong sense of family and community. Each community had its own commissario or leader. Groups of local citizens were appointed to take care of the community. One group made laws about the use of water, a most valuable resource. Another collected money and made all the arrangements for festivals. There was a group to hire teachers and build schools. When settlers began to come from the United States, it was a group of Tejanos who helped the new Mexican government write the laws allowing them to come. Three, explain how most Tejanos earned a living. Identify the resources they needed and the areas in which they found those resources. Empresarios, compared to the Spanish colonial government, early Mexican governments ruled by an elected president and a Congress. Money gained by taxes stayed in Mexico. Early Mexican governments feared US expansion Therefore, to develop Mexican Texas, the Mexican government made agreements with empresarios. An empresario was a land agent who brought settlers, divided up the land, and kept the law. In return, they could earn fees from the settlers and a large grant or gift of land from the government. Martin de Leon was an empresario who made a significant impact on the settlement of Texas. He moved from Nuevo Santander in Mexico to Texas and founded a colony in 1824. Today, the town is called Victoria. Martin de Leon and his wife, Patricia de Leon, accomplished many improvements to the community. For example, there was no school there, so Patricia de Leon started one. Then she helped found a church. Martin de Leon helped the colony grow as a Tejano center for raising and transporting livestock. Lorenzo de Zavala also became an empresario. As a young man in Mexico, he was sent to jail for speaking out against the Spanish government. A well-known political leader, he supported a democratic government. After the Mexican Revolution, de Zavala went to Mexican Texas. The new government gave Zavala the right to settle 500 settlers on a large piece of land northeast of Austin. He became an important supporter of Texan independence. Four, explain the economic motive for someone such as Martin de Leon or Lorenzo de Zavala to become an empresario. Then explain how empresarios impacted the settlement of Texas. People were ruthless, ruthless against other people. Let's see. Oh, Ranchos fast. and vaqueros. The earliest Spanish explorers brought the first cattle, horses, sheep, and goats to Texas. They also brought the Spanish tradition of ranching. 
Ranching was part of the economy of the early days of the mission. By the late 1700s, mission herds of cattle and sheep numbered in the thousands. It was mission Indians who learned to care for the cattle. Cattle on missions were raised for their meat, hides, and tallow, or fat. The hides were made into leather items, and the tallow was used to make candles. Tejanos continued the tradition on ranchos, or ranches. They settled in South Texas, where enough grass grew naturally to feed large herds of animals. Vaqueros, or cowboys, herded the cattle from the ranchos to markets as far north as Nacogdoches, to those hundreds of miles away in Louisiana and south to Coahuila in Mexico. During the 1830s, new settlers began to come to Mexican Texas from the United States. They were mostly farmers. They learned how to ranch from the Tejanos. For example, the words rodeo, lasso, bronco, corral, and stampede all come from Spanish. Like most Tejanos, Erasmo Seguin was a rancher. He was also a statesman, businessman, and postmaster. He served the new government of Mexico and helped write its constitution in 1824. In Mexico City, he pushed the interests of the people back home in San Antonio. When new settlers from the United States began to enter Mexican Texas, Seguin made the government welcoming to them. He became an important friend to the new settlers. Five, cause and effect. Examine the painting to analyze the effects of and contributions of the Spanish explorers on the development and growth of Texas. Six, summarize the accomplishments of Erasmo Seguin. Got it? Seven, cause and effect. Okay, all right. That's it. Tomorrow, make sure you have your math in the morning. That's how you have one question. Math. What's a cor cor coral? Do we leave the Zoom meeting? Corral? Corral? That's what it says. Let me see. What page is it on? Sorry. I'm, I'm, I 164. 243. Daniel, I know what time it is. Y'all act like y'all are in classroom. Y'all are at home. Is Mariah on here? Y'all are probably just gonna sit at home. I know what time it is. What was it, 263? Sorry, I don't know. 264. Um, a corral, that's something that they will build for the horses to keep them like together, like to keep them together like a fence. Because in one of my video games, it's like a really common game it's called Slime Rancher. And they slime ranches, they ranch slimes. And then there's corrals. And a lot of the words are based off of Spanish words because there's gorito, and that means fat or like little chubby one. Yeah. And then there's gordo in the game, which means a really fat slime. Yes. All right. Um, I need Anello, Emma, and Mariah, and who was Angelina to stay on with me. The rest of you are good to go, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bring your, your math homework. Bye. 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 I'm only going to give you like a couple problems, not too many. Mariah, I need you to go find your reading test for today. 2.5 progress checkup. Okay. Work on that. We'll try to complete that. Was it the one we did, we were doing earlier? Yes. Okay. Mr. Nunn, the only reason I'm not talking is because um, yesterday my dog died and I don't like it. Uh, okay. 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 That's fine. Oh. That's I understand. Glad you let me know. Um, y'all, let me see. I'm gonna give you a name. Why did she even sound sad? That's really sad. That is the sad. dog died. That is sad. That's why he's not talking. That's fine with me. Here, I'm gonna share my screen. Mariah, did you find it? Oh, I turned. I'm looking for it right now. I turned my thing off. Oh. Wait, miss. Yes. Can I send you some like cool Pokemon cards that are kind of like worth like a lot of money? Why don't we save them for show and tell on Friday? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mom's not that really like upset. Because like I think last week it was last week. Um, I think one of her friends died, and she's like, "There's DNA," and then. Uh,
the, and then it was actually the boyfriend that did it, and he even admitted it because he would know that since they do DNA, that they would find out it was him. <laughs> Mariah, did you find it on the yellow page on paper? Y'all see, have two problems or three, have three problems. That's it. Wait, what? Mariah, did you find it? Yes, I'm. I'm on it right now. You're not Hold doing on. it, All right? You're okay to stay and finish it right now, or at least yeah. that part. What do you want? Are we? I'm supposed That's to do that right now, right? Yes, right now it's fine. Yes. Okay. Manello, you are writing these two problems. The rest of you are good to go. Nelson, Natalie. Danica, Azu, you are good to go. I just need Emma, I think Angelina, Anella. They're AFK. I think they're AFK. Write these down, and then when y'all write them down, y'all are good to go. Just write them down on a piece of paper. Bye. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. All right, I'm going to keep it on, okay? And I'll be back in a few minutes once I get done with duty if you have any questions. Okay? Okay.